step in our drawing challenge? Meow! We love cats! They're simply the cutest! <coughs> Girls, we're drawing, remember? Should I make mine a tabby? Sit still, okay, little guy? Is this even accurate? Now we're talking. I want my proportions to be right. It's still not right. These can work. Just need a pinch of fur. Good thing I'm wearing goggles. Let me look at my calculations. Yep, just as I thought. What's Annie doing over there? The results are in! It's what I suspected all along. No more science! It's time to get artsy in here! Time's up already?! Show us what you got, girls! Don't be shy. Very nice, Madison! Could you please? That is really good! I'll show you how to do it! You don't see that every day. Start with the word cat. Then build off the letters. You can add colorful details, too. Don't forget his little face. And some stripes look good, too. They kinda look alike, don't they? Fun! Okay, roll them! Aw, I lost. Woohoo! It's my turn to spin! I wonder what we'll get. Ooh, a surprise! Whoa! There's so many things to choose from! Oh, I thought it was candy. What is it? You use it to draw. Ah, got you! Like this? It's fun! What do you think? Uh, okay. Use it like this. It'll make a spiral. All you have to do is move the pen. The circles do the rest. I could do this all day. It looks so cool. Okay, let's try a different color. See? It's creating a different pattern. I don't need these anymore. Now that looks good! Whoa! It's so hypnotic. Ashley? Are you okay? Yoo-hoo! Hey, snap out of it! I know! This might be loud! Ugh. This has to work! Seriously? I'm all out of ideas. Oh. This feather might be handy. Wakey wakey! But you! What happened? Oh yeah! My pretty circles! Uh, they look great! For another spin! Hearts are our favorite! And we have the perfect models! One, two, three, go! So handsome! He has my heart all right! <gasps> That's my David! Your David? Well, this is awkward. Don't fight, girls. There's gotta be a way to settle this. Hello? You give me no other choice. And poof! Not so handsome anymore. Sorry, girls. He's mine! Huh? Has he always looked like this? What was I thinking? Ugh! His smile looks different. I hate to judge. All oh, right. Hey, Annie! Is that David? I look okay? Where? 
Don't see him? Where? <gasps> My markers are all gone! Madison, did you take them? Well, that wasn't very nice. Try to steal her stuff now! Is Madison frozen? Oh, these are mine! Thank you very much! We're drawing hearts, right? To make a perfect heart. Enclose it in a rectangle. And add stripes with a ruler. Then curved lines in the heart. You can use different colors. Outline the heart and make it nice and dark. Now make both sides match. Use white to make a sheen effect. My heart's finished and it's 3D! And unfreeze! But I didn't draw anything! This chair is incredible, Annie! So cool! Sorry about the theft. For me? Thank you! As long as I have David. <laughs> hey, I think this piece is finished. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I think this might be a masterpiece. I'll just set it over here on the easel. Wow, I love it! Ooh, bubbles! I think I deserve a bit of a reward! Yes! Look how many there are! I love bubbles! Hey! I'm back. Oops! I knocked that painting off. Oh. It was my masterpiece! The best I've ever done! Wait a second, Bubbles? This gives me a great idea. I've got a plastic bottle. I'm gonna cut off the top. And now I'll stretch a little net over the opening. Next up, I'll pour soap into this glass tray. That should be enough. Now to dip the net end into the soap. Now the soap has stuck to the nut. Time to add some paint to it. I'll drip some blue. Some red, too. And then yellow, of course. Primary colors, check. And now it's time to start blowing some bubbles. I'll just make sure I'm close to the canvas. And now I'll pop some of these bigger ones. There we go. I think the work is done. Hey, what do you think about this? Whoa! How did you do that? I just took inspiration from your bubbles. I made it for you. Thank you so much, Grandpa. I love it. Bubbles are truly great. Okay, girls. Here we go. Now it's your turn. We're drawing hands, huh? Interesting. I have an idea. Check that out. Just a little electric surge. Is that shadow my hand? <gasps> I just had the best idea ever! Now, that's better. And we have light, ladies and gents! Let's do it! First, trace your hand. Then turn your hand into an adorable little bird. Color him in with a white chalk pen. Don't color the wing just yet. Okay, now you can. And don't forget about those little feet. I don't know how to draw this thing. Huh? That looks stupid. Anything? I just don't see it. Ha! That's the one! Ooh, my aim was a little off. Let's try this one. Trace your hand like this. Then turn it into a cute little doggy. Doesn't look like a hand anymore, right? Check out that giant tongue. Then give him brown fur. Time's up! 
check these masterpieces out! Those were your hands! Incredible! And your duck is just fantastic! Truly remarkable! Perfect! How do I choose a winner? They're both so wonderful! Two judges for two deserving winners! So we both won this round? Well, get some new art! Yikes! No thank you. No! Another rejection! Ah! Stranger! Help! Attack! Calm down. What's up? No one wants to buy my artwork. Grandpa, what are you even doing in that trash can? What do you plan to do with that garbage? You still don't trust me? Well, okay then. You'll have to watch. I'm gonna set this lid down on paper. And now to start spray painting the paper. I just want to coat the whole thing. Don't be afraid to cover the lid. And now to add some white paint down here in the corner. Want to just fill this whole space. And then it's plastic bag time. I'll dab the white with this bag. It'll pull the paint up a bit. There we go. And now I'll speckle it with some more white paint. Time to take the lid off. There we go. It's done. Ta-da! Wow, Grandpa! It's incredibly beautiful! I can't believe how easy it was for you to make this! Here, you can have this. I want that painting! Take all my money! Can't leave me, Mom! <laughs> I'll only be gone an hour, sweetie. Now get up off the floor. Oh. I'll see you soon, okay? Play with your sister. Do I have to? Ugh, look at that face. Don't worry, we can play. Let's race the cars! Yeah! Well, I guess I can play that. I want the white one. Get on the floor, okay? <sighs> I wonder how long she'll be gone. As exciting as this is, why do boys love cars so much? Hey! I know how to make this more fun! I can just draw on the table! Are you insane? Very bad. Good thing I've got all these. Aw, oh, man. I think I got it all. What can we do now? Everyone likes soccer, right? Come on, it'll be fun. Hey, watch this. Catch! I missed. But it is fun, I guess. Hey, check out this trick. Cool, right? No! Gabby! What? You can't draw on all the furniture. I told you. Uh, sorry. But I know something I can draw on. Oh, I've got all this wall space. It's gonna be my big masterpiece. Here I go! My arm is so tired. Gabby? Where are you? <gasps> no! Oh gosh. I'm back, kids. What the? You're home! Look what I made just for you! <gasps> You're never watching her again! Ouch. Ever! Ever! Hold up. I'm taking control here. Put the crayon down! Ooh, Gabby, don't do it! Put it what? I can't take this stress anymore! <laughs> that was my favorite crayon! Wait, I'm sorry. Don't cry. Wanna have some fun with crayons? Simply use a blade to shave them down. And use a bunch of colors. Then press and spread. You can even draw on it. I call this Mr. Rainbow. Don't forget the legs. There. Isn't he cool? I love it! Can I try? Kids, I'm home! You have fun without me? Uh, again! Oh, I love seeing them play together. My perspective. Looks good. Alright, I think I'm done. 
better compare it to the original. Oh, this didn't turn out at all. There he is. I'll just sneak up on him. He's gonna love this! Oh, what's that? Ooh, that's rough. He must be having a rough day. Oh, look at those lights over there! That gives me a great idea! I've got this box frame, so I'll need to open it. Now I've got this little fairy light. I'll stretch them around inside the box frame. And done! Time to return the back! Wow, this is great! Grandpa? Lights in a box? What's the point? Oh, Grandpa, come on! Let me show you! Take a picture and put it on top of the glass. Oh, I see! Wow, look at it glow! I get it! It's a tracing box! Now you can recreate that picture! Alright, time to give this another try! I can just follow all the lines that show through! Wow, this is working so well! It's almost easy! I've just got to finish the last little details! There we go, that should do it! A masterpiece at last! And all I needed was a frame and some lights! Thank you so much for your gift! You're welcome! Okay, time for the next challenge! Oh my gosh, a unicorn! I'm so happy! Whoa, dial it back a little. I need to hang out with new people. What are you doing, Chris? <laughs> I'm Princess Sparkles, ruler of the Rainbow Kingdom. Sure, this is a different look for you. Stop, you're ruining this. Let's spin the wheel! This is so awesome! No hands? No problem. Here goes! I'll put mine behind my back. That's actually a good idea. Hmm, I thought this would be more difficult. Not bad. Finished! What do you think? That's certainly… something. What do you know about art? I'll show you how to draw a unicorn. Let me just check the scale. Oh, yeah, I, I always check the scale. Definitely a unicorn. What's he doing now? Hmm, I think I have a plan. This should make things easier. Start with a sheet of grid paper. And start to draw the unicorn. It may look a bit funny at this stage, but trust us. That looks good. Once the outline is done, start to fill in the middle. This is a really good way of drawing something with a lot of detail. Using grid paper allows you to scale up drawings. And it helps to make drawings easier. Time to add color. If only coloring in was this easy! Let's get some more colors in the horn. I told you we knew what we were doing! There! My own unicorn! Check this out! It's good, right? How did you do that? I mean, mine has colors in its hair. <sighs> At least you tried. I know. I add a little more here. Or some shading. Oh, I can't believe I'm late! Gabby! Huh? Hi there! Sorry, may I? Okay. Thank you! <laughs> what did I miss? Attention. Okay, class. Time to go! Hear you loud and clear! Jeez. I think I can make one of those. But not with paint. Gotta work with this. Challenge accepted! Ooh! Hope I brought enough supplies. Huh? Huh? Oh! Excuse me. Wait a minute. Look! It's an eraser! But what can I do with that? Look at all of his supplies! He's got a million brushes! And I've got zero. Huh? Let me think here. Ahem. Do you mind sharing some stuff? What? Mine? Uh-huh. Paint? I don't think so. Oh, he's so selfish. Guess I'm on my own here. But I have a brilliant idea! Don't mind me. Teacher's not looking, right? Oh, good. I'll 
Take this. What else is in this thing? Nothing. Bingo! Paint, baby! Now to get back to my desk. He's already halfway done! <sighs> Let's start with some red, shall we? And without brushes, fingers it is! But fingers can give a lot of cool texture. Can you tell it's a parrot yet? These thick strokes look like feathers. It's really coming together, see? It's just so realistic looking! <sighs> All right, brushes down, class. Justin, ready? I know, it's really good. Um, well, it's okay, Justin. Let's see yours, Gabby. I improvised. No brushes necessary. <gasps> I can't believe my eyes! That's incredible! Bravo, Gabby! Oh yeah? Thank you! Mm, no hard feelings? There you go. Perks of being an artist, huh? I think I can work with these today. Orange and green. Mmm, no. Not good. Whoa, they're a brilliant shade of yellow. <sighs> this seems like a good spot. Such beauty! I have to get her attention. Perfect! But these flowers aren't mine. Of course! I can just buy one over there. But they don't come cheap, do they? Ugh, I've got nothing. I am a starving artist, after all. Anything in here? Just tons of paint. Guess that's it. Unless… This may be all I need. Women love flowers, right? Even if they're just painted on a page. Layer the colors with your fingers, and you can make some stellar designs. Check out these unique strokes. Now for the white in the middle. And just a speck of yellow. The green makes it really pop. This may be my best piece yet. Here goes nothing. For you. They're almost as gorgeous as you. Wow! Aww. This is for me? Of course. Thank you. You have to tell me how you did this. Hmm. Which pencil should I use? Blue or green? Look at her. I love you. Mwah, mwah. I'll see you later in my dreams. Whoa! A snail. Cool. Who spins the wheel? I win! Ugh! I was convinced I would win. Come on! No hands? Again? Oh well, I suppose I can do it. Here I go! Maybe I can help. There! Hey! You're doing it wrong! But how? Oh well, I'll give it a go. Close your eyes. Why are you acting weird? Fine. Luckily I have this blindfold. How do I look? Perfect. This is harder than it seems. You're amazing. I mean, you're doing amazing. I should kiss her. Wait, I can't forget this. You're kidding me. I spent $20 on this. So stupid. Although… I better be quick. Get out of here. Who needs expensive flowers when you have a pen? Just create your own. It's more romantic this way. Just a stem and it's done. I hope she likes it. I have no idea what I've drawn. It's actually pretty good. I mean, it's a snail. I drew something. <laughs> For me? You're much prettier than any rose. You're embarrassing me. But it's so romantic. 
Michael has to give my ice cream bag. Not the rocky road. Yeah! Time to do painting! I'm an artist! I'm the best at art! Painting is fun! Oh no! I got paint on her computer! I know! I'll just clean it off! Wait! It's just smearing! Oh no! It's making an even bigger mess! It all just turned pink! She's gonna be so mad at me! Huh? She's awake! Uh, what are you doing? Why are you staring at me? Huh. You're acting weird. Really suspicious. Wait a second! Ah! My laptop! What happened to it?! You painted it pink! Huh? What's this over here? A straw? Wait! I can totally salvage this travesty! Okay, here's my poor messed up laptop. I need more paint. That's right. More, not less paint is the solution. White and yellow too. And some purple. So pretty. And maybe just a bit of this brownish yellow. Okay, now I'm ready for the straw. I'll start blowing this paint now. I'll use the air to push the paint around the laptop. Gotta keep going. I like the different colors for sure. And the patterns and textures it makes are cool! Wow! It turned into a legit piece of artwork! It's beautiful! Makes me think of waves in the ocean! I can't believe how well it turned out! Wow! Look at her computer! So cool! Feeling about this one? A love heart! It's so cute! Let's see who spins the wheel! I'm great at thumb wars! Yes! I won! Oh, so close! Please don't be bad. No paper. But how am I supposed to draw? Guess you'll need to figure that out. Watch this. I'll start by drawing a line down the middle. And another one. Then some lines at the top and bottom. And now for the sides of the heart. The pencil makes great guidelines for when we start to use ink. Once the basic shape is done, use an eraser to remove the guidelines around the edges. Then grab a pen and just follow the lines. It creates a great 3D effect. Now to add the color, remember to stay inside the lines. Once that's done, add shadowing to the inside edges. A regular pencil is fine for this. Just add to anywhere you think there would be a shadow. Or where you think the light would be different. It's a different way of drawing a love heart, but it looks so impressive. That's it! What do you think? Wow! I mean, it's okay. What can I use? I know! My hands! It's pretty basic. There must be something I can do. Got it! A tiny heart! Huh? How about this? It's a heart! No, it isn't? Sorry. Okay, now what do you think? Just give up! I know I can do this! Come on, fingers, don't let me down! I think I figured it out! I just need a red pen! Place one finger on top of the other, then draw a love heart. Then simply use a red pen to fill it in. It's not too bad. I like it. Or should I say, I love it. But I'm not finished. Let's add a smiley face. And you need another one for true love. How romantic. Look! Seriously? Aw, that's so cute! Hold on, I have an idea too! Don't ruin it. It'll be great. There! They're hugging! I think I'm gonna cry! It's so sweet! Hey! What do you think of my new jacket? I totally got it on sale! It was 50% off! Isn't it just the best? Yeah, it's nice. I get it. But check out my new jacket! What do you think about my new phone case? Sparkles are so last year. I've got poppets. Whatever. I have this notebook, too. I decorated it with stickers. Hearts and stars and one little ice cream treat, too. 
What? Oh, my notebook is so boring and plain. This isn't gonna work at all. There's gotta be something I can do. Hmm? I've got these markers. Wait! I think I've got a plan! I've got markers on this knife. I'll cut off the tip. And then I'll make a few more cuts so it'll look like a heart. Aw, look how cute it turned out! And now to bring out my notebook. I'll use it like a stamp. I don't have to stop at hearts either. There we go! I've got hearts and stars now, too! See? My notebook has that, too. And I didn't need stickers. Whoa! I can't believe you made that! Almost done stacking my foods. No! It's falling! Shoot! I'm so bad at this. Wait, is that paint up there? Yeah! It is paint! And an easel! She left them out. I'm gonna do some art. Is she around? I don't wanna get caught. Nope. The door's shut. Time for painting. I like this pink color. It's pretty. I'm so good at painting. The best, even. All right. Got the supplies I need. What? The heck? Hi! Look! I'm painting! Isn't it good? Um, sure. I guess so. What am I gonna do? He's already ruined the canvas? Yes! I think I've got a solution! All right. I've got the canvas. A perfect A. Time for some paint. I'll use the color he used. Blue over here. I need more blue and some yellow. All the colors! Time to do some cleaning with the sponge. Just kidding. This is part of the art. I want to use the sponge to dab at all the paint colors. It's okay if I get some on the tape. Turns out doing this dabbing is pretty fun. But it's not really all that quick. Not if you want to do it well anyway. Phew! There we go! I finally covered the canvas with all the paint! Here I go! Pulling off the tape! It comes right off! Wow! It looks amazing! It turned out great! Wow! That's amazing! You're so good at painting! Do one for me! One, two, three! And… We got the blue shell! Aw! Kitties are my favorites! Ella Kazam! Oh, Come on! There! How does she do that? I wonder what's inside here? A gold coin? You try! Don't need to pull my arm! Hmm. I think I feel something. <gasps> it's a real kitty! Aw, he sure is cute, huh? What do you think his name is? I say we call him Marshmallow. Mmm, I guess. How did I get stuck with this? I know! I'll use it to draw my own cat! All I need is the perfect half circle. Then everything else falls into place. He's really coming together, see? It's amazing what just a few different shapes can do. And a pop of color, of course. Just a couple more accents. And done! So cute! Thanks for this! Whoa! Who's my baby? Marshmallow? You didn't draw anything. I was distracted! Show me your kitty creations! Well, this is embarrassing. It's my best work yet! Meow! <gasps> it's possum! Thank you! Didn't feel inspired, Brian? Alakazam! Huh? Marshmallow? How did this yarn get tangled? Wow! Grandma, look! Ah! Oh no! My yarn! What a mess! No, 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 no! My art! It's totally ruined! Grandma, look what your yarn did! Wait, the yarn? The yarn! Of course! It's already in the paint, after all. I'm gonna do this. All right, the black paint is on the canvas. And now for some gold-painted yarn. I've draped it across the canvas, and I'll do some more over here. There we go. All around the entire piece. Next up, I'll need to tape down the unpainted yarn ends. Ready? Time to pull up the canvas! 
Here we go! The yarn's coming right off! This is an amazing piece of artwork you've created! You're definitely grandma's best artist! It's the best painting I've made! Ready for this one? Paint means… An eagle! Not done yet! What? Is this supposed to mean something? Is it a secret code? Let me see something here… Hmm… This is a real thinker. I wonder what I should eat for lunch. Ooh, she sure knows what she's doing. <gasps> My hand hurts! That's it! The dots just anchor the eagle! Now I just have to color it in! It's better if I speed it up. Looking good! And that's all, folks! Done? Ooh, just in time! Check it out! <gasps> I'm very impressed! Aw, shucks. <sighs> I did mine freestyle! Plus, it's sparkly! <laughs> Do you love it? It's like a mermaid bird! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wonder what's next. Challenge number two is to draw love. This is gonna be great! I'm so ready. Time to use three drawing instruments at once. I've got all three of them and can draw three lines at once. Now let's take a pencil and shade in this top row. Time for the cotton swab again for blending. Oh yeah, this is looking great! Hmm, how do I draw a heart? Oh, I know. No, that won't work. Maybe if I… No, that won't work either. Oh wait, I'll ask for help. Good thing I carry around this help button. I'll just give it a press and wait for help. Ooh, yes, she'll do. Hi, fancy artist! Please draw my challenge for me. Our challenge this time is to draw a heart! Ah, yes. So I see. This shall be simple. A heart is just the concept of love. We will write the word on the paper like so. Now for the next part. A circle right here. And another circle over here. Now we will transform this into a masterpiece. Each letter becomes a hand. Don't forget to add the arms. Now, draw spokes like in a wheel on the circles. And of course, we need bodies too. And hair to make it extra special. Can't forget about the rest of their clothing like their skirts. And their legs, too! Now it's time to decorate their clothes. And voila! You have love on your paper! Wow! Bravo, bravo! Thank you! You are welcome. Now I must return to my work. Oh, what? No fair! Annie's art is amazing! I think I need help to make mine even better. Ooh! I can't wait to see who I get! O-M-G! This is unbelievable! Billie Eilish showed up to help! Yep, it's me. Hi. Ah! I'm your biggest fan! Okay, that's cute. Let me help. Is that really Billie Eilish? No way! It is her! She's for real! There you go. I'm out. I can't believe that was the Billie Eilish! I know, right? Amazing! Time to show off our work! Wait, all she did was give me her autograph? This is fantastic! The best art ever! Ooh, Billie Eilish! A plus for you, Madison! Oh, very nice concept of love, Annie! First spin! Look at them go! Orange? It's a surprise round! I don't get it. Big me! I know! Uh, a fishing pole! Nope. Oh, wait! I got it! <laughs> yes, Brian? A car, right? No, not a car. It's a unicorn! Uh, oh. <gasps> I can draw one of those! I only have a million of them! They're my favorite! See? <laughs> this girl's officially lost it! Cool, 
right? <laughs> okay then. Start the clock! Unicorns can't be that hard. It's all about a bunch of bright colors. And markers on plastic don't really dry. So when you color them close together and add a little bit of water, they all kind of melt into each other. Push another piece of paper on top and it makes a cool tie-dye effect! And whatever you draw on top is sure to look super magical! And you can just color it black! See how it pops against all the different colors? Neat, huh? Is time up already? Mine's done and perfect! You can say that again! I love that! What about your drawing? You have nothing, Madison? Mm, meh. Like I need more of these things. Nope. I don't need one. Okay. Suit yourself. Hmm. I hate seeing her sad. Here. Want my drawing? You can never have too many unicorns! Oh, so sweet! I think the next one's gonna be… Look up here! Challenge 3 has begun! Oh, hmm. This one seems hard. Stars can be tough to draw. Wait! There's another aspect to this challenge! Ooh, the hat! Wait, what are we supposed to do with this hat? Turn it upside down, please! Magic art hands! Now reach inside the hat. You go first, Annie. Oh wow! Colorful markers! This is great! I love them! Ooh, I want color too! Come on, colorful markers! Wait, these aren't markers. Haha, <laughs> you got weird glasses! Guess you should've gone first. Ladies, please return my hat. Here you go, Roberta! Madison, try on the glasses! Ugh, I guess so. What the heck? How am I supposed to draw anything? No way! Ugh, they won't come off! No, no, no! The glasses are part of your challenge! Ugh, fine! Guess I'll try to draw a star now. This is so hard, it probably looks terrible! Glad I didn't get the glasses. Time to draw a star! First, I need intersecting lines. And then I'll start connecting them. All the way around like this. Now for the remaining lines, too. Done! Time for some color. I can tell this is gonna be great! Coloring is so fun to do! Good thing I can stay in the lines. This is turning out good! Almost done! Just one left! I did it! Perfect! Oh! Time's up! Hey! I can take off the glasses now! Oh no! Look what I drew! It's terrible! Ew! Madison! Put it away! This is the most perfect star I've ever drawn! Excellent job, Annie! A very fine star! Unfair! Huh? Abracadabra, you're drawing a… BAM! Uh, I guess we're getting crazy today. Don't mind if I do. Let's do this. I'm just gonna trace this really quick. First in here, then around the little handles. Okay, there. Nice. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. Now for the cutting action. Am I dexterous enough for this? Ugh. Ooh, watch the fingers. What's that? Uh, whatever. What is all this stuff? Ugh, it's getting on my artwork! Can you guess what this is yet? He lives in trees and likes to come out in the nighttime. Who? <laughs> yep, it says who, alright. It's your new little owl friend. 
Isn't he cute? Almost there. <laughs> it's perfect! Just needs a little bit of color. These neon hues are great! It's coming together! Ta-da! Hmm, interesting. And Melanie's also quite something. Way to go. Cool! But who's gonna clean up this mess? Ugh, my jeans! Oh boy. Looks like Melanie takes the prize. Get your pencils ready! Let's see here. We have purple! Which means… Monkey! Wow! You ready? Hey! She wants a monkey? Ooh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good! <laughs> oh, uh -uh. Don't be a monkey! Draw one! Hmm, what's she doing? Hey! Wanna help a friend out? Hmm, I guess. Let me see this. Drawing a monkey doesn't have to be complicated. Isn't this little guy adorable? I can almost hear him! Wow! You're the best! Now for mine! Oh, just one more minute? Time is money, Madison! I did this all by myself! Impressive, huh? And here's mine. These look really similar. Almost like they're by the same artist. Too weird. It's mine! Oh, really? Okay. You can have it. It's mine, see? I'm so proud! Aw, this picture sure is cheery. Good enough to be framed. And why stop there? Just need some inspo. Mm-hmm. Right. You said what? Oh, Susan, you're bad! Ugh, I don't know. Um, excuse me? My paper! Oh! My bad. Oops. Look what you've done! It's ruined! Hey! Can I show you something? Ever hear of a happy accident? This is one of them. Oh. Me? Yeah! You can do different sizes, too! Amazing! Let's do it! How many do you think can fit on here? As many as you want! Things are getting crazy! You can use pretty much anything. As long as it's circular, of course. You think we've done enough yet? It sure looks cool, doesn't it? Up high! My little artist! Time for your final drawing challenge! Ta-da! A rabbit! Yee! Bunnies are so cute! This is the best challenge! Let's get started! Bunny, bunny, bunny! Gonna draw the best one! I need a circle up here and the number two down here. I line on the right and time to draw the ears. These eyes need pupils and eyelashes. A bunny nose and bunny mouth! So cute! Now for the body. Can't forget the tail and feet. Bunnies need something to munch on. A giant carrot just for you, bunny! Now you look like a happy bunny! How to draw a bunny? Oh, I know! What? No fair! My leg broke! Good thing I have another pencil! This one broke too! Come on! Oh, this is so frustrating! Okay. <sighs> Calm down, Annie. Just use the big pencil. No way this pencil lead will break! Time to draw the best bunny! I knew big pencil was the solution! 
And time's up! Reveal your drawings! Bummer! I didn't get a chance to finish mine! All right. Annie and Madison, what did you draw? Madison! Excellent bunny! Annie? What is that? That's not a bunny! <laughs> Ooh! Ouch! Ow! My head! That's what you get for laughing at my art! Oh, whatever. At least my bunny is safe. Okay. This spot looks substantial. Yeah? The trees, nature, what have you. The heat is on! You bet! I don't know… What? Hey, stop looking at mine! Whatever. Fine. I'll be over here then. What can I paint? Bingo! He's adorable! I hope David didn't see him. I saw it first! Uh-huh. May the best bird painter win! A few skillful circles can go a long way. Just have to know where to add the lines. Nice, right? But some color will really make it pop. Yellow is such a happy color, isn't it? It's perfect for such a cheerful guy. And how about some green? Such a peaceful hue. And add some blue for a real treat for the eyes. Doing the edges first is always best. It really rounds things out, doesn't it? Almost done. Just a couple of finishing touches. And that's how it's done, folks! A true masterpiece! Don't you agree? Yep. I'm pretty pleased. What is that? I just needed an extra hand. Turns out, a hand is all you really need. Well, that and a few strategically placed dots and lines. Can you see the bird face yet? Don't worry. It'll all come together soon. These branches ought to give it away. And here are its cute little feet. A little greenery? I think it's quite peaceful. Can you see the bird now? I'm just so creative, aren't I? Well, if you really want to see it… Not too shabby. Oh. I guess they're both pretty great. Should we ask the teacher? Seriously? I hope he's okay. Seems like he's just fast asleep. Hey! Ooh! All done, huh? Oh, great job. Now just give me, uh, five more minutes. Alrighty then. 